I use um, a face mask. I use it every time I feel stressed and all this, like a stress relieving face mask. Face mask, sorry, because it's very soothing after usage. So after using it, I like to cleanse my face with this aloe vera X Disney product. Yeah, hydrating face toner. It's also very soothing, especially if I'm going to have a stressful day. Because I'm going to have a very long day. And because I promised you guys about being intentional. About this. I don't want to bore you. I have to carry you guys along. So I use it to just cleanse my face. You can use it in the morning and in the evening. Yeah, this um, routine. <laughs> this intentional skincare routine is, is something that I've been battling with for a very long while. But then, I don't know. Before marriage, I used to love going out on makeovers a lot, but I don't know, maybe because of the task and demanding job of being a mom, I, I find it so tiring to have makeup on unless it's a very important event. So I try to do everything to make my skin pop. Guys, don't let them fool you. Skincare is expensive, mind you. So yeah, that's why I try to do most things myself. My face mask is natural. I'll, I'll try to come up with the recipe one of these days so that I can drop it for you guys. Because I mean, I, I'll check for pictures or videos of how my face was before now. So you can see the clear difference. So after doing this, I, yeah, this can also serve as a face cream. This um, cleansing face toner, it can serve as sunscreen. Sorry, not face cream, sunscreen. So when I use this, my sunscreen, I if I don't want to like use my sunscreen, it's not all the time. I mean, I just have errands to run. I have to get to the bank, then pick one or two things at the market and back home to attend to a few others i don't have any other yet but then if there's an order for today i'll be back home so i'm not take, taking others now yeah that's it because being an entrepreneur and yet yeah, today is my off day for work because i wake up to zoom meetings as early as 8 a.m guys so i just have to try to do this and yeah i think i don't think i'll be able to film my outfit but i'll just carry you guys along on my way to the bank after the bank and then bring you on to today's video topic i mean it's very hot today so marriage is hard like the caption says like the title of the video says guys say marriage is hard don't let them fool errand and that's baby n nathan the cutest 10 months old in the universe hi baby <laughs> he's wondering what i'm doing so yeah i'm about going to the bank now it's actually late but we're going to make it yeah i finished at about past nine 
So hopefully we get done before it's noon today. Come along. <laughs> because the sun in this abuja is hot <laughs> yes um while i was leaving the house i'm big on eating healthy like i told you guys moms i'll be showing you how to live healthy so i make sure i have a healthy breakfast every day i left with a cup of parfait from my brand katie's cravings on instagram and that's what i'm having for brunch not breakfast anymore Hmm. Two things. So we stopped by our shop, right? To get bread and one or two groceries. I have to stay in the car soon. Okay. This is distracting, so let me just wrap up and then we'll be back. I've right, for almost two years now and Hmm. It's not easy. Yeah, you see all the lovey dovey stuff and all of that. Trust me guys, it's a lot of hard work to make marriage work. You have to be intentional. And then from my experience, I'm not saying there's a formula to anything, but I'm sharing my experience so far. Because my experience is um I I think the the only thing that makes <clears throat> the journey worthwhile and easy is when you get married to your best friend or your friend someone you see as a friend it makes it easier because when you have a friend you guys will definitely have issues it's easy to come off it and then resolve get back on track and all of that but then if you get married to someone that <laughs> You don't even see as a friend in the first place. <laughs> it's going to be really difficult. It's going to be really, really difficult. Marriage takes intentionality. Yes, number one, God. Number one, God. Knowing God's plan and purpose is for you and that person, you have to be clear about that. That's first things first. God as a foundation and then friendship friendship in marriage goes a long way because if the person is your friend i mean it it saves you a whole lot of stress and makes almost everything easy yes yeah, not so easy but then like when the going gets tough the stuff gets going like you would know that i want to do this i we are going to walk this through it's not easy i have i have a friend who just celebrated nine years in marriage and i was like wow <laughs> this is huge like it's a milestone if you ask me because man i don't even want to talk about those of us like people like me who is on or in a distant marriage yes married to a military pilot is work or married to military personnel especially if your husband is very much active like pilots um 
what else? I don't know. A couple of professions, in those in the Navy, if it's a sailor and all of that, it's very difficult. So you have to be extremely intentional. You have to be intentional about communication because communication helps. You have to be intentional about reassurance. You reassure the person. Don't give that person any atom of doubt to feel like, oh, um, is it worth it? And then, I mean, keep the spark going. I'm privileged to... Um, grow up in a home where my parents, I mean, like they are my models, they are my role models in life, in marriage, relationships and everything, everything like they are the perfect example anybody could wish for. Because my parents have taught me that you, in the, you, you have to walk the walk for it to work out. There's no magic. There's no magic for it to work. If you're not ready to put in the work, it's not going to work out. Like to date, my my mom and my dad, they make sure they, they do, it's like a ritual, <laughs> if you ask me. They make sure they do certain things together. They make sure they do certain things together. This person doesn't do this without this person. Like my mom doesn't eat without my dad. My dad will not eat without my mom. So like it's, sorry, I'm trying to, okay. It's, it's something that they've been intentional about over the years and they're married for almost 30 years now like they are the perfect role model i don't think i want to look out on social media or any other place they are the perfect role model i've been looking for and i'm praying that god helps me to model my home in such a way that my children will look up to me as a perfect role model in everything there's nothing as beautiful as that so guys yeah marriage don't 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 going into marriage and then expecting it to be a roller coaster you're just going to put yourself under so much pressure and then disappointment and all of that just know that it's not going to be an easy journey if you're going to marriage and if you're in marriage and then you're facing one or two challenge you're not alone you're not alone there's no marriage that is easy forget how people come out there social media they're all loved up every marriage has its significant challenges that's what you should bear in mind but then why did you get married to this person is it god's plan for your life those are the things that will keep you going those are the things that will keep you going. In all, marriage is a beautiful thing and it's working. Okay, I'll get back home now, get back to business, try to post and attend to customers by God's grace. I'll try to share tips on another video on how to make money as a stay-at-home mom. There are so many opportunities. Yes, the sacrifice is what it is. Right, so kindly like this video, comment, share and subscribe to my channel tap the notification button which is the bell sign so that you don't miss out on updates from this channel